Hello. Hi. Terry. Amanda. So what you reading? Not really reading, just kind of flipping through the pages. Yeah. You know, I was here myself. Oh, how you feel? I was here last year. But I didn't go through with it. You wanna know why? Sure, tell me. My mom. She gave me a call when I was sitting right here. She started telling me about how proud she was of me, you know? How she saw that when I was a little girl, I wanted to be all of these things, right? I wanted to be a ball player. I wanted to be a ballerina. And I started to think about my little girl. The life that might be inside of me, growing. God has given you a gift. You can't, you can't take that away. You gotta think about what kind of life this child could have had. It's already too late. It's too late. Look, I wanna give you my card anyway. Okay, if you ever need anything, counseling, or you wanna talk about this, then you call me if you wanna talk about anything. All right, your feelings, the, the process, if you need help, you give me a call, okay? I'm gonna be here for you. Here, my cell phone's on that. Anytime, day or night, give me a call. First time? Yeah. How about you? Third time. So why are you doing this? I'm sorry? You don't want to be here. It's written all over your face. Does anybody ever want to do it? You'd be surprised. So, Millicent, what's your story? How'd you know my name? The ribbon in your hair. I don't have a story. Everyone has a story. It's complicated. Trust me, I've been here three times. I've heard it all. But if you're uncomfortable, it's okay. Been out. About a minute. We can't stop the bleeding. It's probably nothing to worry about. It probably has something to do with her womb. How old is she? 16. Parent, a guardian? No. All the forms are signed? Sign and initial. Well, then, if we have to remove the womb, we will. Okay. Melissa? Yeah. Put this out, please. You didn't have to fill out a form? Follow up. So you all ready? Yes. Does it hurt? Well, you know those horrible cramps that you get during your unwanted monthly visitation? It's nothing like that. Oh, thank God. It's actually a billion times worse. A billion times worse? Well, I didn't want to scare you. It's actually worse than that. Where is he? He would have been here by now. I don't know, sweetie. You're in no condition to drive. You're gonna have to call your parents. I can't! You don't understand. I can't. My parents. 
They don't know what's going on. <laughs> You're gonna have to take the bus. <laughs> the bus? Really? Look at me. I look and I feel like hell and you want me to take a bus? I, oh my I'll God. With you. I'll walk with you. I'll walk with you. Okay, come on. I'll walk you. <sighs> I can't do this. <gasps> what if I lose my womb? What if I die? Oh God. <laughs> I'm going to hell. <laughs> well then don't do it. You don't understand. My boyfriend will kill me. See, Bright's the kind of guy, forget Bright. My parents. My dad. What'd you say your boyfriend's name was? Amanda. Be right there. Look, Millicent, I may be the last person you want to take advice from. But if you go through with this, that guilt, what are you feeling right now? Let's just say you won't remember the second time. The second time? <laughs> oh yeah, you'll be that. You're young and you think you're in love. The first time, no guilt. Second time, you're immune. If you don't remember anything else that I tell you, remember this. A real man, if he truly loves you, would never ask you to kill a life, one that he himself has planted in you. Mrs. Walker. Melissa, you ready?